Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online doubles ladder and provide live commentary as I go. We're still using the Dracovish team that I featured for the last two episodes. It is a really fun team, but you guys have pointed out a lot of great mistakes that I've been ma making, and so hopefully I don't make them in the upcoming episodes. Um, mainly Dracovish's speed with Choice Scarf, not being as fast as max speed. Dragapult and um, not taking advantage of Fish's Rend enough. So yeah, part of the reason why I do this series is because I, you know, make a lot of mistakes, especially earlier on in the format, right? And I think it's good to learn from them, and I like documenting them as well. So it's not always going to be perfect gameplay, but hopefully it's educational. I know it definitely is to me, so hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two from it as well. So thanks everyone. Let's come out and watch the last couple of episodes. It's really been awesome, and I hope you guys continue to enjoy them. Anyway, first game of today's episode going to be up against a Charizard team. Um, Charizard, Rotom, Bisharp, Conkeldur, Sylveon, and Dragapult. So, what do we want to go with here? No Intimidate on my opponent's team, unfortunately, so can't really take advantage of um, Bravery as much as I'd like. Bravery kind of gets nuked by a lot of things. Uh, Charizard is incredibly scary, I think. Um, I always default to Whimsicott, but it's just really good offensively with Moonblast against so many of my opponent's Pokemon, too. And I... Kind of like... Rotom's gonna be a problem. Uh, this team's Rotom matchup is not ideal, as we've seen before. Might just go with the same four as I've been going with. It's not very exciting, and I think I want to feature Braviary more. Um, actually, you know, Braviary is actually one of the better answers against Rotom, because you can Dynamax and, like, close combat things. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna try bringing Braviary this game. Yeah, I want to try it out. Uh, because it actually hits my opponent's team uh, pretty hard in Dynamax form. So, yeah. Uh, thanks everyone that's been watching once again. As always, if you guys enjoy, please share your support by leaving a like. I'd really appreciate it. And I, I was reading some of the comments on the earlier videos, especially because there are a lot of new viewers that have tuned in recently. And uh, I do know that I spend a lot of time uh, selecting my moves, so I'm going to try to do a better job where we don't cut it as close in terms of timing out, because that's definitely happened a little bit too much. But, it's gonna be Rotom and Bisharp here against Whimsicott and Dracovish. Okay. Um... I'm not sure I even need a Tailwind here turn 1. I could just double watch to Bisharp for a knockout. I think Rotom... Could choose to protect here. Um... Let's see, I've got Excadrill and Braviary in back. I'm not gonna want to Dynamax either of these two Pokemon. I don't really need the Speed Boost because I'm naturally faster, so Tailwinding turn 1 here is kind of just a waste. So, I kind of just want to Moonblast and Ficious Ren here. Now, I could double up into Bisharp, um, and I don't mind that. Worst case is Rotom goes for, I guess, a Will-O-Wisp, but that's not really too bad at any way, I think, because uh, Moonblast and Ficious Ren will still knock out Bisharp next turn. Uh, but Bisharp actually just opts the Sucker Punch, okay? So maybe... Ooh, wow. Ah, that was a crit. That's unfortunate. At first, I thought it was Choice Banded, which would have made some sense, but... Yeah. I think this double up should get the knockout, we'll see. Yep, okay. So we knocked out Bisharp, but that crit definitely didn't help. Um, as Rotom actually opted to Volt Switch. Let's see if that knocks out. Yeah, that does. That's annoying because it didn't go for a Will O Wisp, and unless that was Specs Rotom, I think I would have survived. Mm, but that's okay. So we knocked out that. Uh, now we can bring in Excadrill. Or Braviary. This Dragapult's coming in for my opponent. Hmm. Excadrill or Braviary? I think Rotom probably comes back out. Um. If I Tailwind, I will just be able to get the speed boost immediately and take advantage of that with Braviary or Excadrill. I, mean, I think I want to Dynamax the Braviary this game. Although, if I Tailwind and bring out Excadrill, I will be able to just put on pressure against the Dragapult immediately. Um, I'll bring out Braviary here, I think. Yeah. So, we trade Pokemon turn 1. Uh, crit wasn't ideal, but that's okay. As Charizard's what's coming out for my opponent. Yeah, so I guess uh, I guess Exegra would have been better there, but okay, that's not too bad, I think. I'm gonna Tailwind here. Uh, 
Uh, the question is what I do here with Bravier. I kind of want to protect, actually. Tailwind. Mm, the opponent does have to double up onto it to get a knockout. I could Dynamax. But I think I'd, at this point, prefer to Dynamax with Excadrill. Um, alternatively, I can Dynamax and go for Airstream into Dragapult. You know, I'm actually going to commit Dynamaxing the Braviary here. Yeah, I want to see if I can make something work here. Alright, so my opponent's Dynamaxing here too. I kind of expected it to be Charizard, but let's see. What is it going to be? Yep, it is going to be Charizard. Yeah, I didn't think my opponent would just bring Charizard out immediately. Uh, Excadrill there would have worked out really nicely then, because I could have just Tailwind, Dynamax, and Rock-type attack that slot. And probably just won the game from there. But, no worries. So we'll have the speed uh, advantage for the next couple of turns, but the question is, can my Bravery survive a double up this turn? I Dynamax specifically so that I could survive. I've got the Berry as well, so I'd be able to heal back um, if my opponent procs it. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to get Tailwind up, and that means that we'll get to attack immediately here with Braviary. Here's Max Airstream into Dragapult, and that just gets the knockout. Is that a crit, or is it just that strong? Nope, it's literally just that strong. Wow. That is really impressive damage. Jeez. And my opponent's going for a Max Airstream of his own. Okay, into Braviary. That's fine. Yep. Uh, especially with Tailwind up, we've got the speed increases now in our favor. Okay. Um, do we have to be careful about this Charizard? Because now I can't get Sand up. I don't want a Helping Hand close combat or Max Knuckle the Rotom. Uh, if Charizard goes for another Airstream, though, it will just start out speeding things. Uh, one play I could make is actually hard switch into Excadrill. This is kind of risky, but I don't think you target down Whimsicott here. So what I can do is switch into Excadrill. And go for a max Airstream into Charizard. Because then I'll have Tailwind and I'll be at plus one speed with Excadrill, and then I can Rock Slide Close Combat or Max Knuckle next turn. Because I don't think helping on Close Combat's knocking out Rotom here anyway. Okay, so here's Max Airstream. Oh, that actually did so much damage. Um, helping on wouldn't have gotten the knockout though, so yeah. Alright, Max Flare's coming out. I was assuming to Braviary, yeah. Yeah, we survived that. Okay, nice. And that was a crit, too. Wow. Okay. Good. Um, we'll see what Rotom goes for here. I will heal up 33% with the berry. Or, sorry, it's Citrus Berry. Ooh, Electro Web. That's cool. Okay, so that crit meant that, unfortunately, we do get knocked out. But now we've got Excadrill out in Sun. Um, and Tailwind is still up. And we got the speed increase from Airstream. We just need to not miss Rock Slide, I think will be good in this game. Fun one for sure. Um, I like my position, but having to rely on hitting an attack is always kind of scary. So let's see, Charizard is at only plus one speed, we're at plus one speed, and we still have two turns of Tailwind left. Uh, and Rotom is neutral, yeah. So I think what we can do here is just Rock Slide and Moonblast the Rotom and just hope we don't miss. So, never feels great relying on hitting a Rock Slide. But we connect here. Awesome. That should be game. Uh, Rotom can Hydro Pump, but that won't really do enough with Sun Up. Uh, so you probably will o -Wisp, but now it's a 2v1, and Whimsicott actually having offense with Moonblast means I can actually do some pretty good damage. Uh, a Flincher would also just end the game, I think. And oh, Moonblast does so much there, yeah. The thing with Rotom is you probably want to build like defensive, like, you know, max HP, a lot of defense bolt as uh, it is going to go for a Hydro Pump, but it's in the sun, so it needs a crit, I think, to be able to knock out here. Let's see. Yeah. Nice. 
So I'm glad I ended up bringing Brave here. He actually ended up being clutch here. Uh, it's weird seeing this team take care of Rotom in such a way, but ended up working out. Um, yeah, that trade turn one ended up being okay. I would have liked Arctivish to stick around for a little bit, or sorry, Dracovish to stick around for a little bit longer. Keep calling it Arctivish. But uh, yeah, ultimately I think the biggest uh, change in momentum in this game, or not change in momentum since we were trading you know, pretty evenly in the beginning, was being able to just knock out the opposing Dragapult with a max airstream. Uh, that was really, yeah, surprising to me, but that was nice. And Dynamaxing Bravery actually ended up working out for us here, being able to survive even the crit uh, fire type attack and heal back up with Citrus. Uh, Electro was cool, but yeah, that extra uh, switch and ended up helping a lot, so uh, we'll definitely take that. That was a really fun game, though. Um, cool team on opponents on as well. It's funny because both of us have Defiant users in that game, but neither of us actually brought Intimidators, or even, I don't even have an Intimidator. I don't think my opponent does, did either. Um, so kind of interesting to see that dynamic work out, but happy to finally bring Bra Braviary and have it work out. Um, and I think it was actually really important in that game. I think Braviary is definitely one of the Pokemon you're going to see Dynamax a lot in the definitely early on in the season for sure. Um, because it gets access obviously to Tailwind, which is really good. It's quite bulky, so it can survive a super effective attack and heal back with the berry. And more importantly, its Dynamax attacks are really strong, right? With Max Airstream, you get the speed increase, so you can partner that up with Tailwind and really just snowball things. And with Max Knuckle, you can get attack increases. So not only do you have a Pokemon that prevents Intimidators from just easily switching in, if they switch in an Intimidator or give you any stat increase, then, I mean, you're going to be golden, right? Um, a part of the other dynamic is that so many of the Dynamax moves obviously lower your stats. So with that, if you play... Smartly, you can maybe even switch in Braviary, or you can just dissuade your opponent from using certain Dynamax attacks, uh, or they have to kind of say, okay, if I want to use this attack, then I have to give you a Defiant increase. So, yeah. Braviary is a Pokemon that can really snowball very quickly, especially because it gets very relevant, um, it, you know, stat increases through its Dynamax moves. Um, so, yeah, that was a cool demonstration of how it can work. This team, yeah, I think having Moonblast on this Whimsicott is actually really important because otherwise doing damage against a lot of things can be kind of problematic uh, as we can't find someone, but we're going to find our second opponent of the day. Let's see what they're bringing. That was a fun game for sure though. Um, Charizard with Solar Power, definitely really strong. It's going to be stronger once you can, I mean, we can't G-Max in um, this rule set, obviously. So we're up against another Corviknight. I actually did the damage calc yesterday, so um, Dracovish won't knock out. Corviknight just by itself if it's max HP, but with a helping hand you will get the knockout. So maybe this time around I just go Whimsicott and Dracovish because yesterday I kind of got, I, I like the two times I played against Corviknight teams, it's not gone well for me, mainly because uh, the airstreams have been super, super overwhelming and difficult to take care of. I do think I kind of need Arcanine in this matchup and Excadrill is probably the right fourth Pokemon. So defaulting to the typical four here once again, but think that's probably best. I mean, I I, I want to bring Grimmsnarrow. It just doesn't feel great bringing it against Whimsicott. Um, I can't paralyze, you know, the the Rotom and the Excadrill. Uh, yeah, Braviary here is actually not bad, actually. Um, but it would mean not bringing Arcanine or Excadrill. And Excadrill feels really good here. Especially because my opponent has an Excadrill. Um, you could definitely make an argument for Braviary, um, but with timer running kind of low, don't want to risk trying to swap anything up, because, yeah, uh, I think definitely, it, as I've made a lot of, uh, inputs with timer and they haven't gotten through, I think it's gonna be really critical to not bring timer down so low as I've been doing, so I do apologize for that, because I know a lot of the comments were talking about that, um, and yeah. There's a question of the day, uh, what your new favorite mechanic is, definitely let me know in the comments below, I'm certainly curious, and thanks to everyone that's been answering the questions, uh, it's just a nice way to see your guys' opinions and thoughts on a lot of interesting questions. When's got Hydreigon as a lead? Okay, uh, that makes me think it's gonna be Scarf Hydreigon. Dracovish is not in a great spot here. Hmm. Honestly, I kind of want to just Moonblast the Hydreigon and switch out Dracovish here into Arcanine. Which is Assault Vest, so it can take any special attack, yeah. Um, the Hydreigon could switch out here. I just don't want to lose Dracovish immediately. See if Hydreigon protects. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I could have Tailwinded, but that's fine, because I can just Tailwind next turn now. As we actually just traded Moonblast. Oh, that's kind of funny. 
Yeah, so neither of us actually um, pulling the trigger on setting up Tailwind specifically so that we could potentially set it up next turn to stagger it and get an extra turn, but neither of us set it up there. Okay, um, I think Hydreigon's probably going to want to switch out here. I mean, it's not choice scarfed, so it's definitely going to be slower. So what I can do, honestly, is just Moonblast the Hydreigon. The only thing that resists it are Excadrill and Corviknight. So I could actually double up into that slot, because Whimsicott's not really posing a major threat to me right now. It might be Fairy Resist Berry, but I don't think it will be. And with the Salt Vest, I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. Once again, I don't want to set up Tailwind, because if I do and my opponent doesn't, my opponent can just set up Tailwind the turn after and get an extra turn. Um, yeah, speed increases, like, take a place immediately now, so maybe, I mean, the Whimsicott could Tailwind, but I don't think Hydreigon's knocking out me here, knocking me out here anyway. So, looks like it's Excadrill coming in perfect. So, if we could get the knockout here, that'd be fantastic for us. And there's the Tailwind from Whimsicott. So this is great, actually, and this is one of the fun things about the new speed mechanics, which I've mentioned a bunch about, right? Like, speed takes a place in- uh, speed effects take place immediately, so one kind of cool thing, right, is you often now want a Tailwind and just attack with something immediately. Knocking out Excadrill is actually so big for us here, because now we don't have to worry about the mirror match between our Excadrills. Which means if I get Tailwind up, which I'm gonna do this next turn, and then get Sand up, Excadrill should just outspeed everything on my opponent's team, so... I made the double up there because I was in a relatively safe position as Hydreigon comes back in. Um, that's totally fine to see. Don't even know if I need a Tailwind here, to be honest. Um, eh, I'll probably get doubled up into Whimsicott, though. Presumably. So, yeah, let's Tailwind. Whimsicott doesn't actually pose that big of a threat to me. So I actually kind of want to attack around it and just go for a close combat into Hydreigon. Um, we'll see if either of these Pokemon Dynamax here. Looks like Hydreigon is actually Dynamaxing, okay. But, yeah, I mean, because the Whimsicott is Sashed, you have to double up onto it to get a knockout. Um, this Hydreigon just choose, chooses the Dynamax, but yeah, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. Uh, because Whimsicott, obviously, will just still put on major offensive pressure against my opponent's Hydreigon. Um, I'll be able to get Tailwind up, so I've staggered it by a turn. Unless my opponent has Taunt, but it doesn't look like it. that is the case. Okay. And we're just going to eat up a Moonblast. That's fine. Yep, into Whimsicott. Maybe just a double up here. Let's see. And Max Darkness. Yep, double up into Whimsicott. That's fine. Uh, Whimsicott did just drop this game. And that's going to be the special defense decrease there, but that's fine. We get our Tailwind up. Uh, Hydreigon is Life Orb as well. Okay, that's interesting. Some solid damage from close combat there. Uh, this still is kind of scary, honestly. But I've got the speed advantage now. I actually don't want to bring out Excadrill here. Because uh, Whimsicott could go like Helping Hand and a Fire type attack into Excadrill. Excadrill probably outspeeds me, so. I think I'll actually bring out the Dracovish here. Yeah. Um. So I think. Is Extreme Speed Ficious Ren enough to knock out the Hydreigon? Hydreigon could also choose to protect here. Like, uh, I could double up into something here. We know it's Life Orb as well. Close Combat didn't really do a lot of damage there. Um, alternatively, I could double up into Whimsicott. With Extreme Speed Ficious Ren. I actually wanted to know how much Ficious Ren does against Whimsicott. Um, so I'm going to try to do that calc real quick. Whimsicott. Ficious Ren. Uh, depends on how much bulk it has. Yeah, I don't think E-Speed uh, Fishes Run will actually get the knockout there. Hmm. Mm, I E-Speeded Fishes Run Hydreigon. I don't know how I feel about that, actually. But no Max Guard comes out, which is good. Uh, I don't think this gets the knockout. That comes really close, though. Okay, Moonblast, I'm sure, into Brickovish. 
Yeah, we survive. Special attack drop, it's fine. And max darkness here. Okay. Um, so now what we can do... Yeah, it's a shame that the double up with the life orb and get the knockout, but now what we can do is bring out Excadrill. I mean, it comes down to what my opponent's last Pokemon is. I guess I should have played around that a little bit better. If it's Arcanine... Yeah, Corviknight's not a great matchup, actually, either, I guess. Um... Vicious Ren, Hydreigon. It's the last turn of Tailwind. I'll have an extra turn here, but that means my opponent gets to set up another one. Uh, unless Rockfall plus Sand just knocks out the Whimsicott. Yeah, I have to Dynamax and Rockfall here, I think. So, let's see if Hydreigon protects here. The best case scenario is we just get a double knockout this turn with Rockfall plus Sand. Um, and then I have one turn of Tailwind, and then OB, Dracovish, and Excadrill. So I can start my Dynamax this game, but Hydreigon actually posed a bigger problem than I anticipated it to. Um, yeah. Alright, he is gonna max card. That's a good max card. I could have doubled up on Whimsicott here, and I probably should have. Comes down to what my opponent's last Pokemon is. If it's Arcanine, we win, for sure. As uh, Moonblast will go out into... Dracovish, yeah. I'll set up Sand here. So here's Rockfall. Is it enough? Oh, okay. I think Sand will just get the knockout on Whimsicott here, which is really good because it means my opponent shouldn't get another Tailwind up. So now the question is what the last Pokemon is on my opponent's end. Is that faint? Yeah, it does. Good. That's what we needed. A Dragon? No, I think he has one more tick. Yeah. So it's gonna revert back here. Uh, the last one's Rotom. That's not great. Okay. Yeah, I guess I probably should have played better with Whimsicott to deal with the Rotom here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the problem is I can't even max Quake things. Um, I don't know if Hydreigon is in Sandstorm KO range. It looks really darn close. Let's see, four turns of Sandstorm. Hydreigon's the one putting on offensive presence. Um, yeah, I mean, my my opponent was probably gonna always gonna have Whimsicott as the last one, so it's not like shocking to see. I really want to max guard here. Hoping let Sandstorm knocks out Hydreigon. That looks so close. I just can't really tell. It's not like the defense increase helps me here. Yeah, I'm gonna max guard. Because if it's Exa against Rodon 1v1, I think we might be able to win. And yeah, he's Life Orb Earth Power, okay. Will O Whisper Hyde. He just opted to Hydro Pump. So if my opponent misses Hydro Pump, that also could help us out. Does that knock out? Okay, it does. That's what we needed. Good. Okay, 1v1 now. Don't think Hydro Pump knocks us out. So if we just go for Rockfall and then we hit Rock Slide the next turn, I think we might be able to win this. I'm afraid of Rockfall doing too much damage though I'm proccing a Citrus Berry, but gotta go for it, I think. Whoa, this is intense. Uh, we're just gonna protect to stall out the uh, Dynamax. Yeah, that makes sense. I'll still do damage through protect. So now I might come down to getting a flinch with Rock Slide. I think Hydro Pump now will knock me out. Yeah, I think I had to protect last turn though. Um, because Life Orb Earth Power will do just too much to me. In com like, if I don't if I don't target Hydreigon there, I just lose the game. So I, I think I need a, I need a flinch now. Um, and he, you know, I mean, the odds aren't, like, too crazy. He needs to hit a Hydro Pump through uh, avoiding flinch. Yeah. Um, question is whether it's better to Iron Head. No, I think Rock Slide is just better here. 
Okay, let's see. Rock slide connects. Good damage, but it's probably citrus berry to be honest. Yeah. Can we get a flinch or miss? Hydro pump does connect. Okay, that's probably game then. Unless it doesn't knock us out. It does. Good game. Yeah, even with the flinch, I think we would have probably needed another turn uh, of Sandstorm. Ultimately, the Hydreigon actually ended up posing just such a big threat. I thought I was in a really good spot, but then the Hydreigon came back in, and the fact that you could, my opponent could have just doubled up in a Whimsicott put me in a pretty bad spot. Um, and then I didn't want to bring out Excadrill immediately because... I think the proper play probably would have been to bring out Excadrill, Dynamax it, and then try to play... Survive an attack from the opposing Hydreigon rather than bring out the Arctivish. Uh, or sorry, the Dracovish. I keep calling it Arctivish. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, my opponent conserved that Hydreigon really well, honestly. The turn where I knocked out Excadrill looked really good. I mean, ultimately, Rotom just is not a great Pokemon to match up against with this team, so I guess I needed to play better around that. I was worried, obviously, about like Helping Hand coming out from the opposing Wimscott as well. Um... Yeah, it's not like I could have close combated another time with Hydreigon, or with um, the Arcanine. I mean, Hydreigon's bulk just ended up really helping it out. If it just took like 6% more damage from the combination of attacks, then it would have been out the way, and then Excadrill could have 1v1 against the Rotom probably. Um, but I had to waste a turn of Dynamax to protect from the Hydreigon, um, which was unfortunate. So, yeah. Maybe not bringing uh, Dracovish this game would have been the better call. Um, something like Grimmsnarl actually could have helped out, I guess. Uh, Favorite could have been okay as well. But yeah, it just is weird because I felt like I was in a really good spot. But then once the Hydreigon Dynamax, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty bad. Um, especially because of the special defense drop on Arcanine. So um, I don't I don't know if there were like any turns where I like feel like I played really poorly. But I think my opponent just maneuvered the board position quite nicely. Uh, and yeah, the Hydreigon ended up being obviously pretty bulky once it Dynamaxed and was able to really take full advantage of that. So, I don't know. I think the lead was fine. The early game was fine. Getting up Tailwind, I kind of needed to. Um, I guess bringing Excadrill out is probably the call there. Um, yeah. Bringing Excadrill and just Dynamaxing, I think, is probably better there. Um... But Hydreigon's faster, right? That's the thing, too. And if Women's God has Helping Hand, I mean, a Helping Hand Life Orb, Max Quake from Boosted by Life Orb might just have knocked Excadrill out. So the problem was that uh, my opponent's Mon under Dynamax, like, I matched the Tailwind, but I'm still slower than things. Um, so, yeah, I guess, if anything, I would just not bring Dracovish in this game and probably bring Braviary if I could redo that game. But that was a fun one for sure. If we got a flinch with Rock Slide there, it would have been really close, I think. Um, a flinch or a miss there. Because my opponent had the Citrus Berry, I'd be able to protect for some more Sandstorm damage, and then it would come down to another rocket's Rock Slide. But I think the odds weren't in my favor there, because it looked like I would have needed two flinches slash avoids in order to pull that one off. So, yeah. Um, this team is really good. I just It's Rotom Wash matchup is not exactly the best. And uh, you want to like have speed control and take advantage of it, but when your opponent manages to also match the speed control and have a, has a Pokemon that's faster and Dynamaxes it, then you're kind of in some trouble. Um, and with Dracovish not having a Dragon-type attack on this team, definitely makes it a little bit harder as well. Um, but yeah, that was a really fun one. I don't know. It's one of those where I think I definitely could have played better, but I'm not sure there was like a single play like really defined the game. It was more just Hydreigon putting on a lot of pressure against me uh, in general, and for that, that being pretty tough to go up against. So yeah. That's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, please share your support by leaving a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. All right, peace.